All right, guys, it's fall time now, and it's time of the year that I'm fixing to start throwing the heads up a lot. You know, the heads up is a bait that you can use. I wouldn't recommend it in the dead of winter, but anytime through the spring, through the fall, it's a bait that can be effective if you have the right conditions. You know, all the heads up is, is a heads up is just a what I like to call a stick wake bait. You know, you have wake baits that are considered to be like crank baits, where they're just shorter baits, and most of those baits will run right on the surface, or they'll run, you know, six to 12 inches deep, kind of like some of our SSR models do. But the heads up is actually designed to run on the surface. A couple of key things about this bait that you need to know. This bait is designed to be used under calm, still, slick conditions. If you're looking for a topwater bait to throw one day, in real high wind and rough water, this is not going to be the bait. This bait's not designed for that, and it doesn't it doesn't work well in that condition. But what this bait does do is work extremely well when you have those real calm conditions. And this time of the year in the fall, water gets real clear on most bodies of water this time of the year. Typically, the clearest it's going to be all year. And the heads up has just that subtle rolling action; doesn't rattle doesn't make a lot of noise. That's why I love it in the fall. You know, when those fish get on those flats in the back of the pockets, the shad starts moving in the back of the pockets, um, fish start suspending on boat docks. This is a great bait to fish around the face of boat docks or around, you know, the ends of lay down trees. Obviously this is not a bait that I'm gonna throw on real thick cover because it does contain three sets of treble hooks. So it's not gonna come through cover really well on the surface, but a great bait just to cover shallow shoreline stuff or around like say marina docks, things of that nature. But you do need those calm, slick conditions. Another thing about the heads up is make sure you throw it on monofilament line. Um, monofilament line, we all know floats. I personally like the bait better on monofilament line. I know a lot of guys have, you know, have mentioned that they like to throw their top waters on braid and I throw some top waters on braid too, but not this one. I really like to throw the heads up on monofilament line I just use my standard seven foot cranking rod. Don't need anything really outside of the box on that. So any any six gear ratio reel will be fine. And some good monofilament cranking line. I mean, just some good monofilament line. You know, this is this is high seas Grand Slam Mono. This is 15 pound test. You could use anything from 12 to, to 17. I really don't want to get, I like to get much over 17 because it makes the bait more difficult to cast. And you really typically, the, the, the conditions you're gonna fish this bait in, fairly open water, you really don't need a line a lot bigger than that. But there's two times a year I really like this bait. It's when the fish first get done spawning, that early post-spawn, and now in the fall, for right now, you know, for the next four, five, six weeks, depending on what part of the country that you live in. So if you haven't seen the heads up, y'all check it out. We'll try to post some swim videos of it in the next couple of days where y'all can look at the action. Great, great, great fall bait.